Have you ever wondered how cells duplicate their DNA? This complex yet fascinating process is the very essence of life as we know it. The DNA molecule is not simply a twisted double helix, but the very blueprint of life itself. It carries our genetic information, guiding our growth, development, and even the repair of our bodies. The secret to DNA's ability to reproduce lies in a process known as DNA replication. Now what exactly is replication? Simply put, it's the process of making an identical copy of a DNA molecule. This process is semi-conservative, meaning that when a new DNA molecule is formed, one of its strands comes from the original template molecule, while the other is newly synthesized. The first stage in replication involves separating the two DNA strands of the parental DNA molecule. This complex task is accomplished by an enzyme called helicase, which unzips the tightly wound DNA into leading and lagging strands. Helicase separates the two strands by breaking the hydrogen bonds between them, preparing the stage for other enzymes to perform their tasks. An enzyme called DNA gyrase then steps in. This enzyme relieves the torsional strain generated by DNA unwinding, preventing the DNA from winding up again before the process is completed. Each DNA helicase recruits another enzyme, DNA primase, which synthesizes short RNA sequences called primers on both strands. These primers serve as a starting point for DNA synthesis. Enter the master builder, the enzyme DNA polymerase. Like a diligent architect, DNA polymerase follows the blueprint of the existing DNA strand and starts assembling a new strand by adding nucleotides accurately. DNA polymerase scans the unwrapped DNA strand and for each exposed base, it adds a new nucleotide that perfectly matches according to the rules of base pairing, adenine with thymine and guanine with cytosine. Working at a blistering speed, DNA polymerase adds around 50 nucleotides per second in humans. A moment's lapse could mean a genetic mistake but DNA polymerase rarely misses a beat. On the lagging strands, it adds short sequences known as Okazaki fragments in a discontinuous manner. After the addition of nucleotides, the primers are removed by the enzyme exonucleus, and DNA polymerase then replaces the removed RNA primer with DNA nucleotides. But our story doesn't end here. There's one last twist. Every great story needs a proofreader, and for DNA, it's the enzyme DNA ligase. Just as a proofreader ensures a novel is smooth and flawless, DNA Ligus seals any gaps in the new strand and does the final quality check, ensuring the newly constructed DNA is a complete and accurate copy of the original. It carefully mends any breaks in the phosphodiester bond of the DNA strands. Now, the DNA is ready to take on its roles in the cell. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, show your support by liking it subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with your friends.